Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to model a sword in Blender. One of the ways you can model a sword in Blender. And it's probably a highly requested tutorial by a lot of uh, beginning users, and I decided to just do it for practice. Something a little easier than what I was intending to do before, which I will uh, complete sometime in the future. So, here we are in an empty scene in Blender, and I'm going to go ahead right away and uh, press Shift A, and add a plane. I'm going to 7 on my numpad to go into top view. And I'm going to go into edit mode by hitting tab on my keyboard, hit control R, make a loop cut this way, and hit the right mouse button to cancel and place it right in the center. Same thing this way. Now all I'm going to do is select, uh, it has to be in the use box, select to select these vertices, X, delete vertices. I'm going to go over into my modifier panel and I'm going to add um, a mirror modifier both on the Y and the X axes and enable clipping. Alright, now um, actually I'm going to also click the editing cage in edit mode so we can add any section of it. And I'm going to go ahead and pull these vertices out. Uh, pull these out. Pull all these in. Alright. Uh, I'm going to pull these out a, little, out a little bit. Control R, add a loop cut here. That was kind of weird on the whites like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll drag these in. Out a little bit. Control R and I'll loop cut right here. And I'm going to drag these in. Select these. Drag them in. I'm going to add another loop cut here just to give myself a little more to work with. S and X to scale on the X axes. And pull these in a little bit. All right. So there is a profile for the blade. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and apply the modifier because otherwise it'll make it very hard to extrude uh, without getting some messed up topology in the center. So I go ahead, go out into object mode and hit apply. Go back into edit mode and just uh, go ahead and box select these vertices here, this one over here, and hit X and delete them. All right, so now we have our shape of the sword blade. So I'm going to hold down uh, Alt and right click on this, and it's going to give me the whole loop. And I'm going to go ahead and just scale it way down because it's too big right now. Alright, scale it down a little bit more. I'm going to hit E and then right click the cancel. And then just hit G to uh, grab and Z and just move it up along the Z axis until it's probably about the length of the blade that we want. So I'd say about. Uh, but this length is pretty good. Now, what I need to do is go ahead and start sealing up this top section. So all I'm going to do, let's see, is first of all, select all these top vertices and just scale them on the x-axis, make it a little narrower so we have a nice little bit of taper to the blade. And I'm going to hit extrude again. And sx scale. And I'm just going to make it where I need it, uh, about right there. I'm also going to sy to scale on the y-axis. And now I'm going to grab these six vertices and pull them up to 
a point, grab these, grab these, E, uh, grab them up, S, X, pull them in. I'm going to grab these verses here, press F to put a face there, put a face there, face there, face there. E, drag them up, drag them in, face here, face there. Select these, pull them up, and I'm basically going to do the same thing that I did before. Extrude these, pull them up, scale them in. The reason why I'm doing all this is I'm trying to eliminate any uh, triangles because, especially when you're going to something with a really small point, uh, triangles tend to make a lot of pinching, and when you put a material or render it, it'll make uh, really sort of jagged. Uh, dark edges. And we want it to be nice and smooth up here, so. Oop. Went in the fly mode there. <laughs> Alright, so now, let's see how many we have left. Uh, should be able to put one right in the middle. Right now, I'm just going to go ahead and add a uh, loop cut here. Scale on the Z axis to uh, even out the middle section. And I'm going to scale on the X axis. And I'll loop cut. Do the same thing here. Do the same thing here. Actually, this is actually kind of a hard thing to do to get the shape exactly right. right. Now for the very top. This one. I'm going to go ahead and see now you notice that the vein from the blade will actually stop right here. And we don't want the vein to go all the way to the tip of the sword, all the way to the tip, exactly to the tip. So I'm going to select these vertices and extrude them upward. Scale them inward. Uh, do the same thing with these. Extrude them, scale them inward, and now I'm going to extrude these, scale them inward. Now I have, uh, oop, I gotta do one more. <laughs> extrude, scale them inward. S, X, zero. Enter and then hit A. Just just select everything. Hit W and remove doubles and it'll remove that one which is in the exact same spot in the middle. So there we go. Now we can just go ahead and uh, fill these in. Yeah. Select our vertices here. All right, now we can uh, adjust the shape a little bit. It looks kind of really strange right now. 
kind of rounded. I want it to be more uh, pointed. So uh, just need to go ahead and hit Z to go into wireframe mode and clean some of these. Oops, I do that. Scale inward, just kind of clean some of these angles up a little bit. Select these. Scale them outward. All right. Select these top ones, scale them inward. Zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and move these close to the top, and I'm going to obviously put a point with this. More of a rounded point. Um, scale on Y axis, like that. Scale on the Y axis. Continue something about like that. Now I'll come back out and select everything and just kind of scale it on the Z axis until you have the shape that you want. And I'd say that looks uh, looks all right. Add a loop cut here. All right, so that's looking half decent right now. Actually, a little bit. It's, the whole blade is uh, a little bit too thin, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just select everything and scale on the Y axis a little bit. All right. Now, obviously, the cutting edge of it is a little too small. Uh, so hit press Alt and select this edge by right clicking and Alt sh Shift Alt select this one. Actually, we're gonna have to do them one at a time. Hit Alt and hit Control E and do edge slide and you can move it in a little bit without uh, modifying the shape of this contour. So I'm going to move in probably about halfway to about there. And here's the eyeball up, control E, edge slide. And if you need more precision, hold down shift and it'll make it move a little bit slower. Maybe about there. Now, we go in the front view and go into Z, and hit Z to go into wireframe mode. You can see the other edges and match them up with these. <laughs> Alright, so now you see we have uh, something that looks like a blade with a sharp edge and with the vein in the middle. Now up top, you were able to seal this up without having uh, any sort of nasty triangles. And actually I'm going to go ahead and select uh, this edge. This edge. So on this one, the outer edges of the veins, and I'm just going to go ahead and scale them out a little bit, just to exaggerate the sort of depth of the vein there. All right. So now we're ready to move into the uh, hilt. So I'm going to try to go ahead and extrude the hilt right out of this blade rather than making a separate object. Um, so to do that, I'm going to have to go ahead and control R, add a loop cut, and okay, zoom out, slide it down to the bottom. Yeah. Go over a thousand down there. You know what, I'm going to add some more loops to the sword because it's too stretched out. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And control R and just... I'm going to do something about like that. And it'll make stuff a lot easier down here. I'm going to control R, make a loop cut and it's easier to position. So the thickness of the hilt should probably be 